Well, Cheryl, Braylon Benoit spent four days in the hospital, and today family, community, even state leaders came out to support him, offering a little hope as he recovers. You can call it a dinosaur takeover in Freedmanstown's Wiley Park. Our army for him, our little dinosaur pack. As this little dinosaur fanatic, two-year-old Braylon Benoit tracks his way back to reclaim his land after a near tragic scare. Both of the bullets came out. Went in and came out. Braylon was playing outside his great grandmother's fourth ward home at the corner of Gillette and Ruthven Street just over a week ago when Houston police say three cars drove by, firing roughly 30 gunshots. Two of the bullets hitting Braylon, one in the arm, the other, his mother Arisha Howard says, through his stomach, piercing his liver. I honestly feel so blessed. Like, I'm so blessed that my child is able to walk, talk again. I'm so blessed that my family is very supportive. They've been supportive through this whole little journey. Those blessings on full display Saturday as family and community welcomed Braylon home with a special certificate and honor presented by State Representative Jolanda Jones. It's in celebration of the homecoming that you lived and that you're happy and that you have people that love you. A takeover of love fueled by a community now banding together in a quest for justice. You all think that it's some kind of code that we live by in the streets. We do not. And whoever did this, whomever did this, they you will pay. And you going to jail. Standing Freedman's Town. We're a community of one. We support each other. And Braylon Strong. Justice will be served. Now, Braylon's mother says she's told his liver will heal on its own and he is expected to make a full recovery. Meanwhile, Houston police haven't made any arrests in this case and they're asking anyone with information that could lead to an arrest to call them. In Houston, Devon Roming, KHOU 11 News.